The next section is about homeostasis in humans. In the Foundation Programme, we established that homeostasis means keeping our body's functions in a steady state so everything works properly. For the higher paper, you should be able to explain more about how the kidneys filter the blood and regulate the water content. While you're watching the next clip, note down how the kidney works. This is the aorta, which is the main blood vessel in the body. It sends out arteries to each kidney. Once it reaches the kidney, it begins to divide and subdivide until you've got many, many, many small vessels, each one of those leading to a glomerulus, which is the filtering unit of the kidney. Urine is produced. It's then concentrated down microscopic tubules until it gets to that part there, the yellow part, and then the urine passes down the ureter. So the kidney acts as a special filter. Pressure filtration takes place in the glomerulus, a coiled up ball of capillaries. The filtrate contains waste substances as well as some useful substances. Any useful substances are reabsorbed as the filtrate passes down the tubules. Only urine is passed out, which contains urea and toxic substances mixed in with some water. But what controls the kidney? The operation of the kidney is controlled by a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. This is how it does it. The hypothalamus detects how much water is in the blood. If there's too little, it sends a chemical message through the blood to the kidneys, telling them to cut down on urine production. This will keep the water in the body and make the blood less concentrated. A drink will bring the water level back to normal and the kidneys can start making urine once again. Chemical messages in the body are called hormones. The one controlling the kidneys is called antidiuretic hormone because it stops the kidneys making urine. If you're out in the middle of the desert and dried out, you're going to be sending out, your brain is going to be sensing that you are very, very dried out, that your bloodstream is concentrated and that it has to react by sending out a lot of antidiuretic hormones saying, don't pass any more urine or we're in trouble. Uh, another day, you may be drinking a lot of fluid and the brain says, okay, mm, kidney, pass plenty of water. And it says that not by sending a nervous message, but by sending a hormone into the bloodstream and then the kidney senses that and reacts. So it's the antidiuretic hormone or ADH produced by the hypothalamus, which stops your kidney producing urine. 